So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your Google My Business account as a loan officer or mortgage broker. Now, this is really important because you could generate free mortgage leads organically tapping into Google's traffic. And more importantly, people will Google you. And so this helps build reputation and build rapport even before they speak with you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First of all, what is Google My Business Account? So really, this is a free tool that Google gives so that you can have uh, an online profile as a business. So because of the amount of people that use Google, and keep in mind, Google is still number one. It is the king of search in people's trust Google's result. And so why is this important? Well, your Google business profile is literally your way so that you can control what your customers see or prospects when they Google you. Now, the second thing is you're gonna be able to generate a ton of organic leads just because Google is still king of search for people that want to look for maybe a mortgage broker in your city or a loan officer near me. Well, this is very important so that you could tap into that millions of people that search for those keywords and tap into getting more prospects. Now, the third thing is using Google, we are able to build trust with your prospects as they are doing the research, as they're searching for you know who you are, kind of understanding. It's not uncommon now that people just will have to Google you first so that they could kind of see how does this person do business and can I trust this person? Now, let's talk about tapping into Google's traffic. If you go to Google, and I took this directly from Google, Google says that there's three factors that they really take into consideration. The first is relevance, and really Google's mission and objective is to be able to actually serve the customer first. And whatever I'm searching for, Google's objective is to give me the most relevant search result. For you as a loan officer, our goal here is we wanna use keywords that uh, tell Google that you are a loan officer, uh, depending on the products that you have. If you are a, a veteran or specifically, you know, as a, as a VA loan officer, like there's a lot of keywords so we're gonna be able to like really leverage and I'll show you uh, how we could like utilize this uh, a little bit later. Now, the second thing is distance. Because this is local ranking, one is it's actually easier to rank for this because it's you have less competition because you are uh, being in a geographical area, right? Depending on where you are, you want to be able to like add specific cities, counties in your listing so that that helps your local ranking. And number three, which is the most important, is prominence. And really what this means is Google wants to see before they recommend you to people that are searching, hey, is this person actually trustworthy? And the easiest way to do this would be to get more Google reviews. So let's actually dive in and see what this looks like in Google My Business. Okay, so how it works. So let me first show you what this actually looks like. So uh, for example, I just Googled Good Vibe Squad, our company. And so what this, uh, what happens here is there, this is what's called a knowledge panel. So if people search your name, search your company name, this is gonna pop up here. And so uh, immediately, first of all, uh, this allows you to be able to really control what your prospects see and uh, to be able to build credibility and trust even before they speak with your business or you as a service provider. So for example, you can see here uh, immediately, you wanna have a really nice photo that uh, immediately talks at, and, and uh, communicates, you know, who you are as a person. You know, uh, ideally you wanna put like your face here. Uh, you have a featured photo here and you have a logo. Now you could use them interchangeably, uh, but you definitely wanna use your face, something that's smiling, that is uh, inviting, right? If you have a team, if you have a team member uh, or team, then you wanna utilize uh, a photo here uh, of your team. But the, the idea here is you wanna humanize yourself so that people can really connect with who you are and not just a business, right? Most people, um, you know, they, they really look for that connection because we, do not, we don't necessarily work for the business, we work as people to people, okay? So that's the first thing. Uh, and then the other thing is the keywords. So this is an example of our, uh, of our company, right? Now, this is really helpful. Uh, the more Google reviews you get, the higher your, uh, your, the higher your ranking that you get from Google, right? And uh, you're able to uh, also link out 
to your different um, Facebook uh, profiles, uh, Twitter accounts, you know, Instagram, uh, however that looks like. Okay. So let me actually show you what an example is for a loan officer. So, um, so here is, uh, if you search, uh, I'll show you uh, an example of our client. Okay, so here's an example of a client of ours at Good Vibe Squad, uh, Randy Schamberger. He is a mortgage loan originator. And so you could see if I Google him, so Randy Schamberger, this pops up and immediately you could see uh, his knowledge panel already pop up, okay? And so the beautiful thing about this is, first of all, uh, I can immediately see. So the first thing that most people, uh, uh, I would say, like make a mistake on is if you are, for example, uh, working for a company, um, you want to, and they create an account for you, make sure that you create one for yourself so that this is an asset that you could build uh, that you own, not the company, right? And so think about that. The, um, you know, uh, we have seen, you know, we've worked with like hundreds and hundreds of loan officers at this point, And we have heard so many stories where, hey, you know, I've been working for this company for, you know, 10 years and I built, you know, hundreds of, of reviews. But then when they leave that company, maybe they move to a different one. Uh, you know, they, they don't own the asset and now they have to start from scratch, right? So make sure you actually own this asset. And that way you can really build your prominence and as you get more Google reviews. Now, the other thing that you want to do is up here, you want to uh, use your name because people will Google you. And you just want to use, depending on your area, this is what I mentioned, you could put a specific area. So for example, this is what Randy does because he is really targeting Greenville. Uh, but depending on, if you, if you want to do like statewide, you can opt not to add the name or like the name of the area. But I would just do, your first name or like your whole name, and then just put mortgage lender, mortgage loan originator, right? Mortgage loan officer. That way, like you're able to like use your keywords, right? That people are searching for. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is depending on, you know, depending on your state, uh, depending on your company, uh, from a compliance standpoint, you also want to add your NMLS number here. Okay. Um, and so you can see here, uh, Randy has, uh, like a lot of uh, of reviews, right? And so now the beautiful thing about uh, this is as you get more five-star reviews from Google, you will get a lot higher ranking when people search for mortgage loan originators near me or loan officer near me. And so you will be generating a ton of organic leads, okay? So, okay, so how do you actually set this up? So you just wanna go to google.com slash business and you wanna create an account right here. And once you create that account, uh, Google is actually gonna mail you something in your, uh, in your address so that you could confirm something. Uh, you could confirm your address and that way you could set up your account. All right, so now going back to my account here, again, the name is very important. So your name here, uh, you could see I added a, uh, our logo here. And very, very important is when you are uploading your photos, you want to add photos that uh, people can relate with, right? Because if you're just adding you know, photos of houses, even though that is important, uh, you know, people don't connect with a house, right? You wanna be able to, as you could see here, you know, we, we have our team here, we have our team photos. Uh, myself and Preston is in this photo, you know, receiving an award. Uh, you could see this is our, our booth for Good Vibe Squad, uh, a photo with Christine Beckwith, who's a, 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 a master mortgage coach. Uh, you could see our team members, you know, our office photos are here. So that way, like it gives you, um, like think of, think of it, like this is how you communicate with your prospects or customers, uh, even before they speak with you so that they get to know you better. Right. Um, and you can see here, uh, we even have like photos uh, of our team, uh, from our team retreat, stuff like that. Uh, and then the other thing is. Uh, this was actually a question that we got from, uh, actually from you guys. Um, you know, one of you asked, all right, so I have my account, but how do I actually get more reviews? Okay. And so when you log in in here, uh, there's, there's a profile, like you could click, you could edit your profile here. So if I click this, I'm able to edit, you know, my business name, 
my category. So for you, you want to be able to use uh, mortgage broker, right? Uh, as your business category, uh, you can add a description, right? And then you want to utilize keywords here that relate to what you do, right? Mortgage loan originator, right? Like, uh, um, like loans, mortgage loans, uh, loan officer, loan originator, right? And, um, you know, you want to add your, uh, you know, when you started, uh, your contact information, your website, very important, right? Uh, short name and for the business hours, you want to keep this. Uh, now, if you have like an actual office, you want to go ahead and, um, you know, add a specific time. But for most of you, if you do not have an office and you're just like working from home, I would just put always open because that also helps from an SEO perspective. If I'm searching, if I am, for example, searching for a loan officer that's near me um, and I have filters on, uh, and you know it's 12 midnight right like it's late so if you have if you have something that's always open that allows you to also get a boost in seo ranking from google okay and then um all right so uh you don't necessarily need to do this if if you have holiday hours you could add that but you could just skip that um and then these are just extra ones okay now how do you actually get more reviews so if you go down here you're going to actually see at the bottom right here, there's ask for reviews. So you want to click this and this will actually get you this link here. And this link allows you to be able to send this link to uh, whether you want to send that through email, whether you want to send that uh, as a private message to, uh, to, you, to your list, your database, uh, so that you're able to get more five-star reviews uh, because there's two things that you want to th take into consideration. The first thing is usually um, what we want to do is we want to be able to first provide value to your customers, to your prospects. And once people have, uh, um, you know, this feeling of gratitude, right? If you're able to like over deliver, get the customer experience, uh, you know, have an amazing customer experience, then people, there's an actual science between uh, the law of reciprocity, right? Like people want to reciprocate. Uh, and so, um, you know, the, the, the hardest thing for most people do is most people, they don't even ask for the review, right? So you want to ask for the review. Um, and uh, it's, uh, you know, people want to legitimately give a review if they have an, if they just experience an amazing experience, right? So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is we want to make things convenient. Now, the reason why this link is important is because when they open this link, they don't need to Google your name first and now they have to find like the, the review button, stuff like that. No, if they open this link, so for example, if I open this link and I go uh, open this up, it will literally take me to the actual listing and I'm able to already give you a review uh, immediately, right? So we wanna make things convenient for your prospects or customers to actually leave your review. And so there you have it. This is how you're able to really set up your Google My Business account uh, properly and also uh, really leverage uh, how do you get more five-star reviews. Now, the last thing that I will say is there's a big difference with automation and systemization, okay? Now, um, you know, you wanna leverage automation, which this is what we uh, do for our clients, so that for every transaction that you make, you wanna automate asking for Google reviews, okay? Uh, because people will forget, you know, if you don't ask for it, then you're not gonna get it, right? And now the second thing though, is there's also systemization. Uh, there's only so much that an automation can do. What we wanna do is we wanna systematize a process that every single time, if you, uh, the, the best thing that you wanna do is like, you wanna go to uh, your prospects or your customers or borrowers uh, when they're in the closing table, right? Because once you're in the closing table, now you're able to really be face-to-face, -face, you know, build that rapport. And um, uh, now here's the trick here. The other uh, hack here is uh, on the closing table, uh, you know, obviously as you uh, over-deliver and, and have an amazing customer experience for your customer, what you want to do is uh, at that point, uh, you just, you know, you just, uh, after after that transaction, right? You can just like, hey, um, you know, uh, as you know, uh, you know, this is how I d I grow my business is through word of mouth. 
you know, hey, can you do me a quick favor? Just take two minutes and leave me a five star review, right? Um, you know, um, hey, can you just take two minutes and give me an honest review, right? That's what I say is like, hey, just give us an honest review. And as long as you over delivered and you have, uh, uh, you know, you gave them a, an amazing customer experience, well, you're most likely going to get a five star review, right? Uh, so that's the first thing is you want to ask them uh, on that. Now, here's the other thing to help you rank locally. Uh, if you are meeting uh, on the closing table, you could also ask to have a selfie photo with them and, and make sure that they use their phone, okay? Because if they use their phone, what that means is it, as they take that photo, uh, whether they're using Android or whether they're using iPhone, that photo will have a geo uh, target and geo tag to where they are locally. And uh, if they're able to upload that photo into your Google My Business account, Google will actually boost your profile and, and get higher rankings uh, locally because Google knows that that metadata uh, from that photo is in that specific area, okay? So that will 100% absolutely help you a lot in terms of ranking for your account. So there you have it. I hope that this has been very uh, uh, helpful for you. Uh, if you wanna learn more on how to grow your mortgage business, click the video here. Uh, I have so much more other trainings uh, if you want to learn more. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any other future videos. So there you have it. Go ahead, watch the other videos if you want to learn more on how to grow your mortgage business. I will see you then.